nitrogen is one of the most vital major nutrients that plants need. Sure, you can get a bag of chemical fertilize and throw that around. But in many cases a natural source is more suited to your needs, especially when growing vegetables. You can choose from the nitrogen sources listed here. Before moving further, if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe and hit the bell icon. OK. 1. Alfalfa pellets, the ultimate legume. Chopped and pressed into small pellets has long been used for animal feed. In the organic garden, each little pellet releases the nutrients slowly over a few weeks to months. They act as a natural slow-release fertilization program for plants that need an extra boost. 2. Compost tea, my favorite brew. I make compost tea with anything available. Alfalfa pellets or meal. Dried weeds, horse manure, or even compost. Add a couple of shovels full of compost to a nylon stocking. And immerse in a large trash can full of water. Stir daily for a week or two and dilute before using. Avoid using compost tea on leafy green crops that you will eat raw. As it can be a source of E. coli or other digestive problems. 3. Bat guano. One of the best sources of nitrogen. Quick to release. Great for using mixed with sawdust or other wood product. As the sawdust will tie up nitrogen from the soil as the microorganisms get to work. This nitrogen is released later as the sawdust decomposes, but in the meantime, without another source of N, your plants will suffer. Advantages. You only need a bit as it's so concentrated. 4. Chicken manure. It's readily obtainable. In fact it can be overproduced if you have a flock of backyard chickens. The springtime when you clean out the chicken coop can produce a lot of valuable chicken manure. Which, like bat guano is a rich source of nitrogen. Used judiciously composted well with the deep litter of the chicken house. This is one of the absolute best of all high nitrogen fertilizers. Disadvantages. Extremely hot in the first stages of decomposition, and can burn tender seedlings with both the heat of decomposition, and the salts that it contains. 5. Fish fertilizer. This is made from junk, fish, or menharden. These small fish are bony and inedible, so they're used for fertilizer. Fish planted whole in the same hole for a plant, have been used for millennia, so this is not new, this can even avoid the bad smell that comes while using diluted fish fertilizer.